<clears throat> I need all men and women watching this video because there is a lot of truth that I want to get across in this video and there's no low blows to either genders it's just the truth so if you want to hear it stay tuned like I said no low blows none of that stuff it's complete truth it's logic it is what it is we have to love it we have to learn to love it because this is how it is and it's how it's always going to be and if you complain like step is cold said you're going to stay the same that's his line so i had to shut him out but it's true it's a hundred percent true just do what you got to do if you don't it's no one's fault but your own but let me get into this so <clears throat> Men love women, all right? And of course, men can get fed up with women, but at the end of the day, deep in our hearts, we have a true love for women. We really do. And I don't want anybody to get me wrong when I say this, because I'm going to get further into detail. Men love women, and women love value. This is facts. And let me explain. So when I say women love value, what I mean by this is that she loves the man you are because you have become valuable. It's not like she just loves you because of your money. It never works. That's not, it's, it's just not how it works. And of course, everybody loves money. Men love money just as much as women love money. Okay, everybody loves money. That's a bonus. But she really loves you because you really have value. You really worked hard on yourself. You have the confidence. You have the swagger. You have the protection mechanism that you should have within yourself. You're a good provider. You're a good protector. You're supposed to be. Women do not like men who are, who, who are lower valued, who don't have their shit together. And some men will come out and say, oh, she's just a gold digger and this and that and that and this. Well, you know, there are some gold diggers out there that will use you just for your money, which you gotta watch out for, because there's always toxic people in the world, and there's always good, positive people in this world. But how do you expect a woman to feel safe? How do you expect a woman to want her to give you her children? If you are broke, if you are low value, if you have nothing going for yourself, and all these things above. It just don't make sense. And I understand a lot of guys' mindsets. They think, you know what, I'm going to level up as time goes on, but it's just not. And you know what, I used to think this way when I was young because I knew I was not going to be successful right away. I knew I had a long way to go. So you know what, when I was younger, I did get a little bit angry and bitter because I couldn't get the, the woman I really truly believed I deserve. You don't always get what you think you deserve. You get what you work for. You get what you put in. So the best thing you can do in your late teens, which is like 18, 19, early 20s, is really put your head down, forget about women, and focus on your damn self. Become valuable. And I, 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 I'm telling you this now. She doesn't just want you for your money. She loves the man you are and the man you have become. You have a certain strength within yourself. She can feel it. And if you do not have this, she's not going to want to be with you. She's not going to want to sell at best. You're going to be able to hit on a night out at the bar with whoever. But it doesn't mean they're going to want to settle. Doesn't mean this. You can go... And you can get with any girl you want. 
at a night out at a bar, it really means nothing at the end of the day. It doesn't mean anything. It's not going to make you more alpha. It's not going to. It's not going to cure your problems. It's not going to do anything. The only thing that's going to cure your problems, the only thing that's really going to get you up every day, to make you the person you're supposed to be, is to be on your grind. Level the f up. Get to the gym. Get on your business. Show up to work. Do the things you're supposed to do as a man. And forget about women for a while. You want to go out and have fun? Honestly, guys, <clears throat> I don't recommend it. I recommend you really going headfirst into your path and purpose. Forget about all that stuff for a while. I did that. It's exactly what I did. I needed to do it. The more I did that stuff, the more I felt off. The more I felt, I do not deserve this. I don't deserve to celebrate. I don't deserve anything right now. The only thing I do deserve to do is to work my bag off. That's it. And this is what you have to do. And you might think, you know what, once you become successful, oh, I don't want her now. You know what, there's certain girls that you're not going to want. Especially if a girl wronged you in the past and then you become successful, then she wants you. I don't recommend going for her either. I just recommend staying on your path and purpose, letting things flow naturally, and just because some girl that you used to be with in the past comes back, it might feel natural that she's coming back, but it's, I'm telling you, man, it depends on the situation, I guess. It depends what happened. If she crossed the line, I don't recommend it. Guess who this happened to? Me. And guess who didn't take the bait? Me. Keep leveling up. It could be a huge task. You you could have you could have you could have you could have got so far and then flunked. Cause you took somebody back that wronged you in the past in so many ways. You could have flunked everything. And now forever she holds higher value than you. You can never stop on your grind, on your path and purpose. You have to continue to go, 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 go hard-nosed, in the gutter, in the grind. It is not a light, happy place. It's just not. It's dark. But you gotta love it. I love it. I love the darkness. It's gritty. You can feel the fear. You can feel all those things, and it's like, let's go. Let's go. You gotta love it. You, you gotta get yourself up for it. You have to hype yourself up for it and you have to literally go outside, look up at the sky and say, you know what? I know I'm destined. I know I'm destined for this. I just know I have something and I'm gonna figure it the F out. I'm gonna be who I'm supposed to be. These are the things you have to do. You have to do whatever it takes. You have to do whatever it takes to bring that person out of yourself, the best person that you're supposed to be. And you know what, along these lines, you're gonna have people, maybe even friends and family calling you, oh, you're a try hard, this, that, that, this. People's gonna to wanna to stop hanging out with you. You're gonna become very alone and isolated in your own world. But that is the path to success. That is the path to actually becoming high value. That is the path to becoming a 1% man. And when you become a 1% man, the women are gonna flock. You're going to be picking and choosing who do I want because you know what? I'm not going to settle for this. You can easily get that. You can easily get a good looking woman. Easily. But you get to pick and choose. Who do I want to pursue? Where do I want to go? You know what I mean? And like I said, <clears throat> men truly love women. Women love value. But not just the value and the material things and the cash flow and all these things that the man has. It's who he really is. She loves that person. 
She feels safe with that person. She feels protected with that person. We can't blame women. This is nature. This is how it is. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not sitting here saying there's something wrong. I'm not saying, oh, women are crazy. Oh, women are this. Oh, women are that. It's not crazy. This is how it is, guys. <laughs> this is how it is. And why should any woman just believe us if we say we're going to be successful? Anybody can say that. It doesn't mean she's just going to give you her kids, her children, marry you. It doesn't mean that. You have to put in the work. And you know what? You don't have to prove anything to anybody. You really don't. I don't want to make it like that. You have to prove it to yourself, though. Even if you do call yourself successful, you have to prove it to yourself. You know you can do it. Everybody in this entire planet, man or woman, has the potential to become successful at something. You can do it. So don't worry about certain things that you think you want because you know what? Your thoughts can change over time too. There's things five years ago, four or three years ago that I even thought I wanted that. What? I don't want that now. <clears throat> Not even close. I do not want what I wanted three, four, five years ago, and that is the truth. So put your head down, do what you got to do. You got to go to school, go to school. Just do your absolute best. Give it all you got, 110%. You're going to have failures. You're going to have setbacks. You're going to have times where you feel like the entire world is against you. You're going to have times where you feel like nothing is going your way. It's all a test. You got to keep going and keep going and keep going. And also what I want to add in is whenever I say women love value, they really do love the man that you are. But she can also stop. So you have to stay valuable. You have to be an add-on to her life. And it has to be the same way with men and women. She has to be an add-on to your life as well. It's a 50-50 it's a, it's a thing. And men or women, and, and men and women are different. They do like, there's some similar things they do like, the same, but there's differences. So that's what you have to know. Women do not think like men. Men do not think like women. And this is just the way it's going to be. It's the way it always was. And it's the way it forever will be. <clears throat> and it's not going to change. So if you want things to change, if you want to win a life, if you want to do what you know you have to do, what you're supposed to do, if you want everything you've always wanted and you had it in your head as a young man, you have to do whatever it is that you got to do in your power to get those things. You might not know which women you want. You might not know which business you want to you wanna go towards. You might not know what you want to go to school for, what job you want. You might not know any of these things, but you will never know if you never start putting your foot forward and try. And it comes down to more than trying. Oh, I'm trying my best. No, it's got to be more than that. It's got to be more than that. It's do or die, brother. It's do or die. Do you want this life? Like, you can't live without it? Because if you don't want it that bad, if you just kind of want it, you're not going to get it. You're going to miss out on a whole lot because you didn't want it that bad. You don't, you didn't, you don't, you don't even care that much. You're never going to get it. If you want the life you really want inside your head, because everybody knows inside their head things that are missing, things, things that they want. You have to have that do or die mentality. You have to have that I cannot live without this type of mentality. 
that's how you have to do it. And at the end of the day, it is for your damn self. Are you kidding me? It is. So guys and girls, make the best out of this life. Make the best out of it.